Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, the brain tumors and the basic concepts. The brain tumors and the basic concepts. Primary brain tumors are a heterogeneous group of neoplasms originating from CNS tissue and meninges. So the brain tumors originate from the CNS tissue and metastasis. However, however, the most common tumor in the CNS are metastasis from distant neoplasms with lung cancer accounting for nearly half of these tumors. So the brain tumors primarily originate from the CNS tissue, especially the non-neural cells like the astrocytes and meninges. Gliomas and meningiomas are the most common primary brain tumors. However, if we take in general the frequency of the intracranial tumors, metastasis to the brain is far more common than the primary brain tumors and of the metastatic tumors the lung cancer is the most common primary site. There are lots of differences between the brain tumors in adults and the brain tumors in children. Now let's see what are the differences. In the brain tumors in the adults 70% of the brain tumors in the adults 70% of the brain tumors in the adults originate from the supratentorial regions and of these 70 percent as i said earlier 80 to 90 percent are either gliomas or meningiomas so 70 percent of the brain tumors in adults originate from the supratentorial compartment and 80 to 90 percent of such tumors are gliomas or meningiomas the rest 30 percent of the infratentorial compartment consists of most of the time schwannomas there are other tumors but most of the time schwannomas so in adults if we take brain tumors as a generalized approach 70 percent are in the supratentorial compartment and 80 to 90 percent of such tumors are gliomas and meningiomas 30 percent of them are the intratentorial region and most of them are schwannomas that is about the brain tumors in adults when we take the brain tumors in children it's just the opposite to that of the adults approximately 70 percent of the brain tumors in children are in the intratentorial region and most of them are either the medulloblastoma or cerebellar astrocytoma or the brainstem glioma or ependymoma so most of the tumors of the brain tumors of the children are in the intratentorial region they are either the medulloblastoma ependymoma cerebellar astrocytoma or brainstem glioma the brain the primary brain tumors are the leading cause of cancer related death in children even surpassing leukemia so the cancer related the commonest cancer related death in children are the primary brain tumors which even surpass leukemia when we take tumors gender wise the tumors are more brain tumors primary brain tumors are more common in men as compared to women with the exception being meningioma which is more common in women as compared to men but what is the etiology of the primary brain tumors what are the causes of primary brain tumors one there is a genetic disruption of cells genetic disruption of cells second they evade the immune system evasion of the immune system Third, the ionizing radiations. So, genetic susceptibility, evasion of the immune system, ionizing radiation. Fourth important cause is hereditary. Some brain tumors are related to hereditary. For example, in neurofibromatosis 1, we commonly see the optic nerve glioma and ependymoma. In neurofibromatosis 2, we see meningioma and glioma. In von hippel lindorff disease, we see hemangioma. So, hereditary also plays uh, an important role in some of the tumors. The clinical features, what are the clinical features? By and large, the primary brain tumors present either with headache, seizures or altered mental state. 
either they present with headache seizure or altered mental state headache is because of the infiltration of the brain tumor hitting on to the meninges and meningeal vessels we all know that the meninges and the meningeal vessels are pain sensitive structures and therefore they develop severe headache and second there could be raised intracranial tension again causing headache so the reason for headache are two one the meningeal and meningeal vessel infiltration by the tumors and raised intracranial tension and second common presentation another important common presentation is seizures because the brain parenchyma is involved by the primary brain tumor the cortex cerebral cortex is involved they present with seizures third is the altered mental status slowly the tumor starts progressing they have altered mental status they have a depression they have apathy they have loss in the surroundings they have uh, loss of interest in the surroundings apathy and memory loss so these are all the common manifestations memory loss in disinterest in the in the surroundings apathy a prolonged reactive type these are all the altered mental status uh, we see in the brain tumor so headache seizures altered mental status are the common presentation or the common clinical presentations of the brain tumor if we take children as i said the brain tumors in children most of the time it is in the intratentorial compartment and posterior fossa therefore it goes and impinges on the ventricular system and results in hydrocephalus neck pain ocular abnormalities and ataxia so brain tumors in children usually present with the clinical symptoms suggestive of posterior fossa lesion like hydrocephalus uh, ophthalmoplegia or neck pain ataxia diagnosis how do we diagnose brain tumor basically we do mri brain with contrast when we give contrast there is an enhancement of the tissue of the tumorous tissue what is this enhancement and what is it due to it is because of the disruption of the blood brain barrier because of the infiltration of the tumor generally we have a very good blood brain barrier which prevents toxic substances to enter from the blood into the brain because of the astrocytic process and the tight endothelial junction the astrocytic foot process and the tight endothelial junction will not allow anything in the blood to enter into the brain that easily but when there's a tumor it breaks away it it gives a, the, the tight junctions are broken away so anything in the blood including the contrast enters into the brain so it appears as a contrast enhancing lesions so when we do mri brain with contrast and there are contrast enhancing lesions it is highly suggestive of brain tumor there could be other features also when there is a tumor it could go and impinge on the the ventricular system so it can result in hydrocephalus or it can cause pressure effects and and shift of the midline structures there could be cerebral edema there could be hemorrhage when we do mr spectroscopy there is a decreased peak of the n acetyl aspartate because of the neuronal loss but of course the definitive diagnostic therapy is brain biopsy having understood having an overall idea of the general approach to brain tumors and overview of the brain tumors now let's see the salient features of each tumor as i said the gliomas are the most common tumors gliomas are a group of tumors that originate from the glial cells the supportive non neural cells of the cns glioma is a general histological term which is used for glioblastoma multiforme that is grade 3 and 4 or low grade glioma that is grade 1 and 2 or oligodendroglioma or ependymoma these are all supporting cells of the nervous tissue non neural cells glioblastoma multiforme is the grade 3 and 4 a very serious malignant tumor very devastating with a very very poor prognosis it is the commonest brain tumor glioblastoma multiforme is a commonest brain tumor highly malignant highly invasive and the prognosis is very very poor and it is seen in 50 to 60% of the adults it involves the white matter it can go and involve the corpus callosum and therefore there is a butterfly like picture also when we see on imaging butterfly pattern because it infiltrates the white matter and involves the corpus callosum the treatment is surgical excision we excise it the radiation temozolomide we give as a drug 
it is a cytotoxic alkylating agent we have to give anti angiogenic therapy because the vessels are and produce the vascular endothelial growth factors and a uh, new vessel formation is there and therefore we have to give vascular endothelial growth factor antagonist so we give bevacizumab which sequesters vascular endothelial growth factor which is highly expressed in the glial tumors then we have the low grade tumors low grade gliomas grade 1 and 2 commonly seen in children grade 3 and 4 commonly seen in adults 1 and 2 is commonly seen in children the median survival is about 7 years and in children they present as cerebellar astrocytomas oligodendrogliomas are more common in the frontal lobes they appear as calcification and they produce phrytic appearance ependymomas arise from the ependin ependymal lining of the ventricles and therefore it can present as hydrocephalus right this is about gliomas when it come to meningiomas meningiomas are benign tumors they are commonly found in women as compared to men they express the progesterone uh, receptors it is the second most common primary brain tumor after glioma it has got a predilection for cerebral convexities fox cerebri then the sphenoid wing and the spinal canal the mri brain shows an extra dural axial mass with enhancement and a dural tail so when we see an extra axial round mass adjacent to the dura with dural tail of enhancement is a very characteristic feature of meningiomas radiologically then we have medulloblastomas medulloblastomas are usually seen in children in the posterior fossa it is a primitive neuroectodermal tumor arising from the fourth ventricle it is commonly seen in children the mri usually presents with hydrocephalus because it is going and impinging the fourth ventricle the the csf flow is obstructed so they present with hydrocephalus and the tumors are present in are present in the in the csf so they can drop from the intracranial portion to the spinal canal which is known as drop metastasis schwannomas schwannomas arises from the eighth cranial nerve from the schwann cells in the eighth cranial nerve they occupy the cerebellar pontine angle they affect the fifth nerve and seventh nerves also and since they affect the fifth nerve seventh nerve and eighth nerve it affects from the it affects usually the eighth nerve so they present with vestibular disturbances and hearing loss it occupies the cerebellar pontine angle and we need to surgically excise the tumor the other tumors are pituitary tumors the pituitary tumors go and impinge the optic chiasma so usually they present as bitemporal hemianopia person is not able to see to his sides whereas he is able to see the center part of his vision well they present with bitemporal hemianopia and we have to do a uh, surgical excision transphenoidal surgical approach by which we can remove the tumor entering through the nose so these are all the basic concepts of the brain tumors the metastatic tumors to the brain are more common than the primary brain tumors and amongst the primary brain tumors in adults the supratentorial tumors are more common and of the supratentorial tumors gliomas and meningiomas are more common in children the intratentorial tumors are more common like medulloblastoma cerebellar astrocytoma or brain stem glioma or ependymoma so this is an overview on the basic concepts of brain tumor i hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture if you have any suggestions or comments kindly post on to my youtube channel but please like and subscribe my youtube channel dr sinos medical concepts and my fb page dr sinos concepts thank you bye